how do I describe this movie to you? Um, I didn't hate this movie, but I was kind of left going, huh. Because I knew what I was getting into, and I feel like you need to know, just from the title alone, you're probably thinking, oh, this is like a cool grindhouse uh, action scene movie. And admittedly, there are some, like, grindhouse-esque, like, action moments in here, but that's not the movie. It's... Oh, it is so hard to explain this movie and hard because it's it's more of a slow burn type film, um, and for an hour and a like little over like a hour forty minute movie, it feels a little longer than it it, it feels like um, it feels longer than it is, and I don't mean that as a bad thing. I just kind of felt like wow, that's only this felt like a big film to go through, um, so I was kind of like wow. Um, this movie is something. <laughs> um, so, I... Okay, so I guess I should tell you the sto the plot of this movie uh, before I go any further. So the story focuses on, an, on uh, a, a guy named Calvin Barr, who's played by Sam Elliott, who, by the way, acts the hell out of this movie, and I'll go into that in a little bit. But basically what this movie is is about Calvin Barr, who is a, retri a retired... Um, he's a retired soldier who assassinated Hitler during World War World War II, and the government has come to him to ask him to kill Bigfoot, who is spreading this, pl who's going to be spreading this plague because it's gotten sick. And he feels very conflicted about it because after killing Hitler, it really changed him. And Calvin is a character, what I like about it is that how they treat Calvin is like he's a retired uh, action hero who, like, did all these impossible things. It's almost like if they want, you know, it almost felt like an old man Doc Savage or an old, uh, like an old man version of, a, like, a pulp superhero in a way. Um, and this feel, it very much feels like a pulp adventure in, in some cases, but yeah. Um... So yeah, this movie is like one part, uh, one part drama and then one part Evil Dead and what have you, because it almost feels jarring how we snap from old from an old man who is living out his days as a retired soldier after mur uh, murdering Hitler to suddenly going out to hunt Bigfoot and then snap back to it like nothing happened. That's the thing that's ki that kind of like was jarring for me. Um, that was the big thing for me that was really, like, kind of jarring as a as a moviegoer, and I'm like, I, I get that that's kind of the idea, but wow, that was jarring. And then it snaps back, and it was like, that felt like, like it was tacked on, because really, when you get to the Bigfoot part of this film, it really feels like you went into another movie. It really does feel like you went to another film altogether. But, like I said, Sam Elliott acts the hell out of this movie. He's really the biggest star here, um, and he really carries the weight of this film. He really does carry the weight of um, this film, and I really enjoy his acting in here. He really plays, like, yeah, he's a guy hunting Bigfoot, but he really plays it straight. There's actually some great emotional moments, too, uh, in this film. There's some great uh, emotional films that he just acts the hell out of like there are moments where he's just silent throughout most of it and he uh, he really feels like um, he really feel like you really get a sense of that you really get a sense of just this, this is a man who is kind of just doesn't want to you know he's just kind of waiting to die he's just kind of waiting to die so that's what I like about this that's, that's what I like about this film is that it really does like the strong suit is um the strong suit of this is William is um, Sam Elliott, who uh, is just amazing for this uh, movie. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? So, um, but like I said, like like I was uh, um, like I was saying earlier is that this movie feels like, like, it feels like two different movies got mashed together. One is an old man who is essentially waiting to die, and then it goes straight to, like, almost Evil Dead territory. And there's even some shots in this film that feel straight up like Evil Dead. Like, the director took notes from Evil Dead. Like, uh, one's pretty obvious in, with the Bigfoot stuff. One's pretty obvious, and you'll know it when you see it. 
But the other one is like, oh, that's clearly a ref. That's cl that scene's clearly inspired, and how that scene is shot is clearly inspired by Evil Dead. So that was an interesting uh, choice because again. It feels like you just snapped into it. You wandered into another... This movie wandered into another movie. Um, and I do like... There is a great moment in here. And again, Sam Elliott just acts the hell out of it. Where he's talking to the agent. And when they say, yeah, did you kill Hitler? And he, and he goes, yeah, I did. But the problem was, after I assassinated Hitler, I thought the war was going to be over. But nope. The, you know, everything he stood... That, uh, that, little, uh, that little jerk stood for kept going. You know, that whole look of him is a costume, and every person who, you know, you know, there were multiple Hitler, you know, multiple, multiple actors playing Hitler, be, uh, you know, to keep his ideals alive, you know, everything he's, I killed the man, but the monster lived on, I'm like, wow, in a weird way that makes a lot of sense, like, in, in, like, this makes a lot of sense of, even if you could kill Hitler before, the war would still go on. The, the war... A lot of people kind of theorize, that if, have you killed Hitler earlier, the war may have still gone on um, to it, because of, you know, every, his ideals and, you know, his, other, his inner circle. He would have just been a figurehead, really. So, in a cosmic sort of way, that makes sense. And it's kind of... And I can see why, like, emotionally it broke that character. Um... So that was a neat, you know, that was a neat point. That was a really neat um, idea for um, for this film. So I dug that. I really did dig. Um, I really did dig that idea of where it went. Um, that was the thing. And again, like it's an, it, you know, there's so many cool concepts, and it's a very um, tragic film, but really, like, when it, it when it gets the Bigfoot stuff, that's when it's jarring, because then you're like, we're talking about a guy who's who felt bad about killing Hitler, and, you know, just wants to be left alone, and now we're fighting a Bigfoot who looks, the Bigfoot itself, like, I can understand they made it, wanted to make him look sick, but man, that Bigfoot suit looked rough, oof, that thing looked rough. But I can, I get, I understand, like, yeah, they were trying to say it was making him look sick. And even when he's saying, like, hey, I had to go kill Bigfoot, um, uh, I had to go kill Bigfoot, or they tell him, go kill Bigfoot, he's like, uh, like, everyone just has this huh thing. But then again, for a guy who killed Hitler, I guess nothing, you know, nothing is really shocking. So, yeah. Guys, I didn't hate this movie, I really didn't, but... It's really confusing, and just from the, if you think from the title alone, oh, this is going to be like some badass action movie with Sam Elliott, don't expect that. Go in expecting a drama. This is a slow burn drama with some action um, that feels really jarring, so this is a hard movie to describe, but uh, I don't know. This movie is not for everyone, is what I'm trying to say. This is a movie that is totally not for everyone, so... It's really hard, you know, it's a really hard movie to recommend. I know this movie got some awards here and there, but me personally, I was like, man, this, uh, and it, it, it like, it, I feel like it also had suffered from the, um, Lord of the Rings thing, where it just kind of felt like, this felt like it should have ended a little while ago. This kind of felt like it should have ended a little while, uh, uh, longer. Did they just forget that? But anyway, so... Like I said, this if you want to check this movie out, it, you can rent it, um, rent it, it's about $8 rental, it's definitely a, it, I would recommend it as a rental, I would, this is not a, like, buy on DVD, unless you really enjoyed it, so, you know, give, give it a watch if you're truly interested, but go in, I, I cannot stress this enough, guys, that do not go into this expecting a fun action film. There's some elements, but it's more of a drama film, this is a drama film through and through. So, keep that in mind. So, there's my, uh, there's my full review, guys. Um, just com if you've seen the movie, comment below, let me know. And, as always, you know, like, share, and subscribe, uh, our, you know, this video and others. And, if you're new here, remember to Hulk smash that subscribe button and be a part of Earth's Maya subscribers. Um, hope you all enjoyed this review. And, on behalf of everyone here, we will see you right here once more in the universe.